Unleashing clauses, making your sentences whole. Hello, language learners. Today we're going to tackle an important topic in sentence construction, connecting dependent clauses to independent clauses. Understanding this is key to avoiding sentence fragments, which can confuse your readers or listeners. So, let's dive right in. Before we get into the how, let's first understand the what. A dependent clause is a group of words that includes a subject and a verb, but it doesn't express a complete thought. This means it can't stand alone as a sentence. It's always left hanging, like it needs something more. For instance, although I was tired, an independent clause, on the other hand, is also a group of words with a subject and a verb, but it does express a complete thought. It can stand on its own as a sentence. For instance, I decided to go for a run. To correct a sentence fragment involving a dependent clause, we need to connect it to an independent clause. This is the core part of our discussion today. For example, consider our previous dependent clause, although I was tired. To transform it into a complete sentence, we can connect it to the independent clause, I decided to go for a run, to form. Although I was tired, I decided to go for a run. There are several ways to connect these clauses. 1. Coordination. This involves using a coordinating conjunction, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, remember them as fanboys, to join an independent clause and a dependent one. For instance, I was tired, but I decided to go for a run. 2. Subordination. This includes using a subordinating conjunction, like although, since, before, unless, etc., to connect the clauses. For instance, although I was tired, I decided to go for a run. 3. Punctuation. Sometimes, a simple comma or semicolon can do the trick. For instance, I was tired. I decided to go for a run. Let's practice with some examples. 1. Dependent clause, when it started to rain. Independent clause, we went inside. Complete sentence. When it started to rain, we went inside. 2. Dependent clause, because she studied hard. Independent clause, she passed the exam. Complete sentence, because she studied hard, she passed the exam. Try coming up with your own examples and practice joining dependent and independent clauses. That's it for today's lesson, folks. We hope this discussion on connecting dependent clauses to independent clauses has given you more confidence in your English sentence construction. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to put your knowledge to work. Until next time, happy learning!